Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks for taking the time to check out our inaugural video here on the brand new Pixel Pro Displays YouTube channel. So today folks, I want to do a video. It's kind of a uh, it's kind of a return to uh, something that I've already done and that is creating a preset uh, addition to your sequencing library. So as you can see here, I have an effect that I've created. I'll show you in just a minute what it does. And uh, what I want to do is I want to save this as a preset so that I can use this somewhere in the future uh, in another sequence or as a filler for something uh, in, inside a sequence of some sort. So to activate our library, to get into our preset library, we're going to make sure we're in the Sequencer tab. You're selected somewhere here on the sequencing grid. You're going to right click and then when you do, you can go to Effects Presets. When you click on the Effects Presets, this dialog box will open. Uh, you'll, you'll note that I have a, a number of these available in my, uh, in my own library that I have uh, been using for a number uh, of seasons and uh, they've served me pretty well but what I want to do is I want to create a brand new one so let's look we have a couple different ones we have uh, options that is we have the apply preset we have new preset update preset uh, add group rename delete export and import so very simply we can uh, we can select an effect and uh, as you notice here we have in the effects screen we have this uh, these presets here that are already saved and uh, basically they have like a number beside them and what that number dictates or designates is how many layers that that effect will take up. Now it doesn't tell you how long the, the effect is so you really don't know until you go ahead and lay it down but if we were going to apply an effect uh, let's let's say uh, this this text filling with garland uh, we were going to apply it. We can select it, text filling with garland. We can click apply, and now that's created a uh, a simple rendition of a text effect with a fill in the background. Um, you can also select one area, and you can double click, and that area wherever it started will uh, populate with the first effect. So that's one of the nice features is now you know how many of these uh, layers that are necessary in order to lay these effects down. So next we'll move on and next we have, let's go ahead and get rid of these, uh, next we have a, a new preset. So we have this effect here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click and drag over top of it. I'm going to select the entire effect. I'm going to click I'm going to scroll down here in the bottom and I'm going to select the last effect here and it's going into my anim animated images. Uh, I'm, uh, that's just a directory that I created. If I, don't want, if I don't want it underneath there, if I want it inside there, I can click here, like uh, somewhere here I could do this. Well, I can, let's actually do that. That's a good idea. We'll go ahead and click um, New Preset. So it's hopefully it's going to put it right here. New Preset. And we're going to name this Ocean. When we go ahead and click OK, it's added ocean. It says it has seven layers, which is exactly where we're at. Seven layers for this uh, matrix that I've created and used. So now we have this new effect. We can go ahead and lay that effect down somewhere else in the sequence if we see fit, or we can use it in another sequence. Now, uh, moving on, we have the update preset. So let's say, let's say I selected I created two effects here. We'll create two random effects, and uh, uh, they really don't do anything. There's nothing coming out of there. Let's do that again. Something where you're going to see something here. Effect, uh, create random effects. So maybe that'll do something. Yeah, not really so much. Okay, so so now if you have an effect that you want to update, you can select those effects. You can go over here and select the, the effect that you're going to update, and you can click the update preset, which I'm not going to do. But you can change. Uh, well, I guess I guess I guess I could lay down one. Let's lay down one here. Let's do this. Uh, uh, where's my mega trees at? Let's see. Two sweeps. This is this is a nice simple one. So we've got two sweeps on the mega tree right there. And let's say I wanted to update that effect with uh, an acceleration. Let's slow the acceleration down on this one. 
So it's the acceleration is to the negative. See how it moves a little faster? And if I were going to update that one, I would just click select this. I'd have these highlighted and I would update the preset. So let's go back and delete this. And now we can go in and double, double click on the sweeps. And we can look and see that our acceleration is minus three. If we want to fix that, we just change it to zero, which is what it was before. And we select it and then we highlight it here and we update preset so now it's back to where where it was before and we can test that again by just double clicking and laying it back down so if you if you like an effect if you like a preset and you want to change it around a little bit uh, and and kind of uh, you know fix it a little bit or or adjust it or make micro adjustments um, then then it's easy to do so and update the same effect or you could also create an updated version or a new one. Uh, okay, so moving right along, we have the uh, Ag Group, which if like I have Mega Tree, these were these were effects I used on Mega Trees. Um, these this was like the animated images. I think I doubled up on some of these, but that's okay. Uh, and I can create groups. So so say one could be for my Mega Tree, another one could be uh, let's say for example I could add a group that says for Matrix. And now at the bottom here, um, or at least I, th I thought at the bottom I would see it. Let's see, Mega Tree, is it is it inside there? It added it in, inside. So if I want to, if I want to add right here a new group, if I add a group here, I can do matrix here. It's all in where you click, I suppose. So there's a new uh, group. We'll call this matrix. So now we've got. Um, now we've got our preset. We know this preset is right here. It's oceans, and we can lay it down. We know how to lay it down, so that's no problem. But uh, now let's go to. Uh, we have the delete. We have the rename. We have the export and the import functions. So uh, rename is kind of uh, pretty simple. You just select the effect, and you can rename it to whatever you need it to be. If you if you named it improperly at one time because you were in a hurry, then you can adjust that there. Then you also have the delete effect, so you can select and you can click delete. Uh, finally, you have the export effect. Uh, uh, export. Well, you have the export function, I should say. So if we go ahead and we select our oceans and we say, uh, Ocean, let's go ahead and export you. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to leave this called Ocean. And I'm exporting this to my Nutcracker directory. And I go ahead and click Save. Now, if I want to use this, let's say, in another file, or in, uh, if I want to share this with my friends, if I want to share this in the lighting community, I've already created this uh, export file. Uh, let me go over here, and I'll bring it up and show you that it is in, in fact, one of my directories, Nutcracker. And if we come over here, we go all the way down to the bottom, because it, I have it in order by type. And here is the X presets. Here is the X preset for ocean. So now let's say I am sharing this with somebody. What you would do is you would do an import. And now you're going to click import and you're going to go to that directory wherever you wherever it is saved. It probably is going to be in your downloads. And I'm going to click on oceans. Now that I have selected it, I can go ahead and open it up. And you can see I have wherever I was selected before, it's going to show up uh, if I just selected down here, it would open up down here. So it's opened up there. I have two copies of it. I actually can delete it. I really don't need two copies, but or I can rename it if I want to adjust it a little bit. So um, that's just a, a, a quick little basic of how to import and export and a little bit more uh, explanation of the effects preset screen. Something that I believe uh, folks are going to be using a little bit more as they begin diving into the x -Lights program. So finally, I want to end with, uh, and I know I've drawn this video out quite a while and you've been waiting to see this. I have created this very, very simple animation of possibly uh, the sea with, a, with the ocean here. And you've got like a sandy beach. I could, I could see putting like a little tree here or like a palm tree and you got some clouds that go across the sky and you got the sun spinning there in the background so uh, I thought that was something neat I wanted to share not so much how we did this but uh, you're going to find that if you go to the www 
www.pixelprodisplays website that maybe some of these effects will be somewhere hidden on the website in the next few days. So folks, thank you so much for taking the time to check out our inaugural video for Pixel Pro's displays. This is Clyde Lindsay. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments down below. Thank you so much and have an exciting and wonderful day.